Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for just being God in my life. And then everybody, if I speak to me, speak to me today. When I talk about the blood, Father, I just pray that you just hear me every soul, every spirit, every mind, every heart today. Speak to us and say something different to each and every soul listening to me all at the same time. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I, I was listening to Shawn Mendes, the song called, it, it, is, it isn't in my, the song called In My Blood. And I was thinking about the blood of Jesus. And I was thinking about how, how in the song he says he's really in a negative space. Um, and he says, I can't give up. It isn't in my blood. And um, uh, I was thinking how freedom is not in our blood, it's in the blood of Jesus. And thinking about blood itself, I was thinking of blood and I, and I looked up blood and apparently blood is, has four components. It has a component called plasma, a component called platelets, and a component called red blood cells and white blood cells. And every component is vital for survival. What blood actually does is, it's like the subway of, of our system. It actually uh, carries away toxins, and brings oxygen to us. So, a bl blood without oxygen is, um, from what I read, it's a killer because it's not bringing what the body needs. But also, blood carries away toxins, all the, all the bad stuff that the body doesn't need, the blood helps carry it away. And um, when, th when the blood system isn't working, like when the kidneys aren't working, or when there's iron deficiency, or when there's any kind of blood deficiency, the body just stops working or is deficient in some way and that's why we take vitamins because we don't get everything we need everything we need in the food we eat so we need to take vitamins whether it be vitamin z vitamin c whether it be zinc whether it be iron because we we need those nutrients because we don't get them naturally every day. And we need to keep our blood healthy. Um, because if we don't, we die. Because it doesn't, it can't, if it can't carry oxygen or take away all the toxins in our body, it can, it will kill us eventually. And that's what's happening to us spiritually. As a world, we're, we're filling ourselves up with toxins, but in the spirit, we have no um, fil filtration system 
to filter out um, the toxins except for Jesus. And that's why it shed blood was so important because it took away all the toxins of sin and everything. And it, it brought to us love, peace, joy, understanding. And when I looked up blood, I was almost um, going to a worship fit because this is what the world needs. This is why the blood of Jesus is so important. It's not only just important, just for heaven, but it's important because it carries away all the sin and all the stuff that we um, have done and all the mistakes and everything and purifies it and purifies us and he wants to know he wants us to know today that it's not in our blood that is all this freedom and all that it's in his blood um i know what john mendez is saying in the song but i'm taking it in a different way he's saying he's saying i he's saying i don't have the will to give up on life i don't have the will to give up on myself but i'm saying that even if you feel like it even if you feel like giving up, even if there's nothing inside of you left, don't depend on what's in your blood because what's in your blood is tainted and it's just, it's just, it can be, it, it can be good one day, it could be, um, not so good one day, one challenge could knock you down to your knees where another challenge can really, really help you. And because your humanness, your blood is fickle. Some days you will have the will to go on, some days you won't. But if you do spiritual dialysis, which is exchanging your will, your blood for his, in a spiritual sense, not a physical sense, in a spiritual sense, exchanging your will for his and your, your blood for his, um, it's going to give you a life that you that you wouldn't ever have dreamed of and he just wants you to know it's not in your blood forgiveness is not in your blood joy is not in your blood peace is not in your blood it's all in his blood and he wants to do uh the great exchange and he's saying, it's all in the blood. Freedom is in the blood. Joy is in the blood. Peace is in the blood. Healing is in the blood. And if you accept his gift of salvation, he will do an exchange for you today. And it doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter who you are. It, all that matters is he just wants you to know that you're not alone. You don't have to walk alone and he loves you. He loves you and there's nothing that you've done to prevent him from loving you. And he's saying, it's, I keep getting him saying, it's not in your blood, but it's in his blood. See, we live in a world where um, we 
we're told we don't need anybody, y'all. We can depend on it ourselves, and we don't need anyone. That's a lie of the enemy. That's a lie of the enemy. The Lord has created us to live with him. The Lord has created us to live in him and with him. And he wants right now to guide our steps, to be there for us, to love us like we've never been loved before. He wants right now to teach us. He wants right now to instruct us. He's saying everything you are looking for, everything you are wanting, it's it's in his blood. It may not be in yours, but it's in his. And he's saying right now to trust him. He loves you. And and he just wants to just love on you. I I wish you could feel what I feel right now, like the utter love for you. The other, the other peace that he has for you, the other, the other joy, the other joy that he has for you. He's saying it isn't in your blood; it is in my blood. Um, in in the in the song, he talk. Um, Sean Mendez talks about having anxiety and having all these negative feelings and feel he's saying someone help me and that that's the cry of someone's heart today someone is saying right now i need help but there's no one there to help me every someone is saying I'm trying to be strong. I'm trying to carry this weight alone, but I can't. And he's, God is saying right now, today, you don't have to. I'm right there. You don't have to carry it alone. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to struggle uh, with anxiety attacks alone. And when you, when you come to Christ, it will be a process. Your wholeness is a process. But he will show you what the process is. And sometimes wholeness is instantaneous, but most times it's a process. And God will be your partner in the process. He's saying, tell them. I will be their partner in the process and tell them they're not alone. Whatever you're facing, whatever you're struggling with, he wants to be your partner in the process. He wants to be your partner in the process. Remember, it isn't in your blood, it is in his blood that you find freedom, his blood that you find joy, his blood that you find contentment. And he's saying, trust him to give you what you need. And he will bring the resources. It won't just be him and you, but he'll bring the people and the resources into your life and he will he will teach you how to have a relationship with him he will teach you aspect of your personality that you didn't even know he will teach you about you because he's made you in the beautiful creation that you are 
He loves you so much, beloved. I wish you could know how much you are loved. Because so many people right now don't feel that they're loved. Feel that they're all alone. Deal with the crushing weight of loneliness, dissatisfaction. And they try and fill the hole. But you can't fill the hole with all that stuff. You can try. It can work for a while. You can sleep with any man, woman, or whatever. You could sleep with both at the same time. It still won't fill you up. You you can you can make all the money that you want and it's still at the end of the day you'll still feel empty. You can you could buy all the things on Amazon that you want. At the end of the day, you'll still feel empty. What you've been searching for is not validation on Instagram. What you've been searching for is not li- is not likes on Facebook, although I love Facebook. I'm on Facebook right now. But I'm using Facebook as a tool, not as my source. Oh, that's good. Use things of this world as tools, not as a source. Because whatever you use as your source, you're going to have to keep going back and going back and going back. It's like a drug addict. If you use drugs, um, if you use coke for your source of happiness and escape, you'll have to continue using coke. And you'll have to use more and more and more. And if you use shopping as your escape, you'll have to do it more and more and more. And if you use gossip as your source, You'll have to do it more and more and more and more. Whatever you use as your source, you'll have to keep coming back to over and over again. And everything in this world, whether it be shopping, whether it be pills, whether it be um, whether it be likes, whether it be um, videos. You cannot make enough videos or get enough likes to get enough validation because it will never be enough. The only the only being that will be enough is a relationship with Jesus Christ. I know you're scared. I know you tried religion before. But I'm not telling you to try religion. Religion uh, um, breaks people. Religion causes people to go crazy with all the do's and don'ts of religion. I'm saying just try relationship. You don't even have to know what you're doing. But just try it and you'll see on yourself. God will show you you. And you don't even have to be sure that there is a God. You don't even have to um, you don't even have to be sure. Although it does say believe and confess. But the Lord's saying today, even if you don't believe just give it a try and then he'll he will morph your try into ultimate belief like that that believing and confessing it will come yes lord he's saying even if you don't believe or you're not sure the bible does say to believe in your heart to confess with your mouth and believe um, in your heart that he is 
God, and he's saying, yet, but if you, if you, if you're not there yet, it's okay. He said, I will turn your don't know into a belief and into a confession. But you just have to take the first step of maybe this is real. I don't know. Let's give it a try. And he said, yes, just try. And I will show you. I will reveal to you how real I am. You don't have to clean yourself up first. You don't even have to know what you're doing. You don't even have to know everything yet. He just said, just come as you are with your doubt and unbelief. And, and you will believe that he is eventually. But it may be a process for you. And that's okay. He will bring people and re resources into your life that you wouldn't believe. He will show you miracles that you wouldn't believe. And you'll be like, uh, where did this come from? Where did that come from? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for ministering to, ministering to your people. He just wants to spread, Jesus just wants to spread pure love on you today, like you wouldn't believe. He just wants to spread pure love on you, pure grace on you. He said, you're deserving of his grace. You are deserving of his love. There are so many people that are that are mired in shame and in guilt and in pain and whatever and they don't feel that they're deserving they never felt like they're deserving they they felt like other people are deserving but i'm not and I'm not talking about the people that look depressed or whatever. I'm talking about the people that look joyful on, on the outside, but are dying on the inside. And you think, you think they look so, so confident. No, that's not confidence. That's, it's not confidence. It's a cover, and God wants to take off the cover today and really fill you with that joy and peace that you exude, that you pretend to exude. He wants to make it real. When you say you're all right, he wants it to actually he wants you to actually be all right. And he wants you to know that you are deserving of love. I don't care what your mother told you. I don't care what your father told you. I don't care what your adopted um, parents told you. I, I, I want to speak to people in the foster care industry for in foster care for a moment. Um, you are deserving of a home. You are deserving of someone to put their arms around you and say, I love you, great job. You are deserving of all that, despite of what your life has told you, despite the fact that your mother and father weren't, weren't able to take care of you. You are deserving of all that. And Jesus can and will give you all that. 
and will it be easy? No. But he's ready and willing to give it to you. You don't even have to believe for it. You don't even have to trust for it. Just come with all your doubts. Come with all your pain. He's just saying right now to just come. He loves you so much. He loves you so much. He's saying right now to just come. To just come and know that that you are loved. Know that you are forgiven. No matter what you've done, no matter what kind of crap you tried to pull, he knows who you really are and who you pretend to be and who you pretend to be. He knows that all your pride bravado is fake. He wants to get down to the real part of you. And he's saying, beloved, he's not only knocking at the door, he's ready to get a battle in the ram and break down your door. Just let him in. Let him in. He won't hurt you. He'll just love you. Your parents have left you and you feel displaced. But let the love of Jesus just flow into your heart right now. He wants to give you resources. He wants to give you joy. He wants to give you peace. He wants to give you the, the greatest thing he wants to give you is love. The greatest thing he wants to give you is himself. Um, if in your blood um, is the spirit of giving up, the spirit of suicide, the spirit of death, and all that stuff, he wants to exchange it for what in what in his blood, peace, joy, love, understanding. He understands you. He loves you. He sees you. You're seen. You don't have to. You don't have to make the top Instagram video to be seen, or you don't have to make the top um, TikTok video to be seen. All those clicks and all those likes are from people who don't know you. Clicks and likes are nice, but they give you a false sense of security because anyone can click and like a video, but God really knows you. He knows your heart. He sees the brokenness in you and wants to put all that brokenness together and he wants you to know that you are his before you are instagrams before you are tiktoks before you are anybody's you are his and he wants you to receive him and even if you don't believe fully yet that's okay just come as you are and the relief will come. The resources will come. He will bring things into your life that you wouldn't believe. Would it always be easy? No. But he wants to partner with you in your life. He wants to be all up in your life. He wants to give you wisdom and understanding that you wouldn't have had. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for just being there for us. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us. Thank you, Jesus, for your understanding. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Thank you, Jesus, for just being there for us in a way that only you can be. Thank you, Jesus, for seeing us and loving us right where we are. Uh, 
Okay, guys, I'll see you next week. Oh, and if you, and if you want what I was talking about, all you have to do is just call up to Jesus the way that you, that you are. Just call out to him. Just be honest with him. All he wants is your honesty. A lot of pastors and ministers uh, say the sinner's prayer or whatever. I don't do that because I believe that in this moment, God doesn't want to hear me for you. God doesn't want any specific words or whatever. God wants to hear you. God wants to hear who you are in this moment. Call out to him. Just speak to him the way you're speaking to me. And be honest about your doubts. Be honest about your fears. Tell him you want, you want him to come in and change you. Just be honest about where you are and what you need from him. And he will take your life and make it so you won't even recognize it. He'll make it so brand new. You, you would say, is this the same person? And as I said before, it is a process. But, but it's a process and a journey worth taking. Thank you, guys. Bye. See you next week.